This week's video is going to be another one about money. In this video, I'm gonna be talking you through seven plus streams of income that you can have as a GP. So make sure you watch right to the end so you can get all of the tips. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then a massive welcome to you. I'm glad to have you here on my channel. My name is Dr. Baptiste. I work as a portfolio GP. If you are new and you haven't subscribed, then why not consider subscribing because I have loads of useful content to support you on your medical career journey. And as always, if you like the video, then make sure you give it a thumbs up. So before I get into the various streams of income that you can have as a GP, I suggest that you watch some of my earlier videos. The first one being about the opportunities within general practice because that talks about the various types of GPs that there are. And the second one is all about diversifying your career. Okay, so let's get right into the seven plus streams of income you can have as a GP. Number one, Let's say you're working as a GP, you could be a salary GP, you could be a locum, or you could even be a GP partner. Now, as a salary GP, you could be earning anywhere between nine to about even 12 and a half thousand pounds per session. One session is about four hours, so that could be a morning or afternoon clinic. Now, if you decide to work as a locum, many GPs work as a locum in addition to their work as a salary GP, or even if they are a GP partner. If you decide to locum, and just bear in mind that many GPs who are salary GPs or even GP partners can locum to supplement their income. So if you decide to locum, you could be earning anywhere between 75 to 100 pounds per hour. If you want to know much more about how much GPs earn, then check out one of my earlier videos where I talk about this in much more detail. Number two, you can become a GP with a specialist interest. Now the advantage of upskilling and becoming a GP with a specialist interest or a GP with an extended role is that you can negotiate your pay. You will have additional skills that the practice may want. Also, just in reference to the points above, you can and you should negotiate your pay as a salaried GP. If you want to know exactly how much you could get paid as a GP with a specialist interest, then check out one of my earlier videos where I speak to a GP with a specialist interest in dermatology. Number three, aesthetic or cosmetic medicine. As a GP, you have the chance to, again, upskill, um, get into the area of aesthetic medicine, and you can use this to supplement your income as a salary GP or as a locum, or even as a GP partner. As an example of how much you could earn, you could earn potentially 1500 per treatment and you then can offer a treatment package. If you want to know much more about aesthetics and how you can get started, then check out one of my earlier videos where I speak to Dr. Tristan, who is the founder of Harley Academy. So uh, let's talk about medical education. Again, I've spoken about this in a bit more detail in an earlier video, which you may want to check out. However, I will spend some time talking about it here and just to give you an idea of how much you could earn. So there are many GPs who get into medical education because it's something that really just uh, goes quite nicely and it's something that you do as a doctor. So as doctors, we're always involved in teaching. So it's quite an easy thing to do that can also supplement your income. It may not pay as well as something like aesthetics but it can still uh, supplement your income and you can do that while you're uh, in the practice in doing your day uh, day to day job so as a gp you can become a gp tutor and teach medical students across the various years so years one to six potentially uh, of medical school you can also teach uh, gp trainees and become a gp trainer or even a program director the practice will get paid to train medical students and GP trainees. It does vary depending on the medical school, the deanery, the number of medical students or trainees and the type of placement. But just to give you an idea, the range could be between 300 to 1200 pounds, uh, maybe a bit more, but that's a very rough estimate. 
Something else that you can do in line with medical education is examining medical students. That's something I do. Again, it varies, but as a rough estimate, you could get paid 165 pounds to 330, 350, but it does depend uh, on where you examine and the medical school, for example. There are also GPs who run courses and tutor privately for some of the GP uh, training exams. And some of these courses and private services are hundreds and hundreds of pounds. Number five is medical or clinical writing. Again, this is something that if you're very good at writing and you enjoy it, then it's something that can be done quite easily alongside your role as a GP. I write for a company called GP Online. That's what I predominantly do in terms of my writing. As a uh, writer, it really depends. You could be employed by a company or you could be self-employed. You could uh, work as a freelancer. And so as a freelancer or self-employed, you may want to set a flat fee on the article that you're going to write. There is a big variation. You could be paid anywhere between £75 to £150 to £250. It depends on a number of different things, the company, what you're writing and your experience. But this is something that, like I said, if you enjoy writing and you're good at it and you've got some experience, it's really good and it's easy to do alongside your work as a GP. Number six is speaking engagements. As a GP, you can speak and deliver a number of talks, keynote talks, presentations, lectures on various different topics. If you are a GP with a specialist interest and you have upskilled in a particular area, then you can be seen as an expert in that field and people may contact you to speak on a particular topic, whether that's reproductive medicine, whether that's women's health, for instance, and you can get paid to speak. There are a number of different ways you can get speaking engagements. You can sign up with an agency or as you build your speaking career, people will then contact you. This is where it's really good to let people know what you're doing and to be visible and to have a really strong social media or online presence. So as a speaker, you can charge a fixed price or the company that want you to speak may offer you a price. And of course, like everything, you can negotiate and I would encourage you to negotiate. Now, as a speaker, it's very variable uh, in terms of how much you could earn. It does go back to experience. And like I said, if you have something that people want, um, it varies from hundreds of pounds to thousands of pounds, depending on where you are talking or who you're talking to. Number seven, this is miscellaneous. So this is a list of potential ways you can supplement your income. Number one is property. Now there are many GPs who invest in property and with property, usually it's a positive thing. You can't really lose. Now with property, most of the time, it's going to be a really good investment and it can be seen as passive income. However, as a landlord, you have a responsibility uh, to make sure the property is safe and for the upkeep of the property and to look after your tenants. Number two is stocks and shares. I personally don't know much about stocks and shares, but there are many medics who get involved in stocks and shares. And like with anything, there are pros and cons. So if you are interested in this, then make sure you do your research. Number three is YouTube. <laughs> I personally haven't made um, money from YouTube. I, well, I've made some, but um, it's basically been counteracted because I've had expenses to pay. Um, so I haven't made any significant money from YouTube. But of course, many of you will know uh, how YouTube works and the adverts that you can place on your videos. Affiliate links, sponsorships and partnerships are all ways of building up an income stream from uh, YouTube, not only YouTube, but social media. Even if you don't have a massive following, there are many ways in which you can use social media to supplement your income. Along with uh, YouTube and social media, there are podcasts. Many people are getting into podcasts as well these days. Number four is you can start a business. There are many GPs who have businesses uh, and that, again, it goes across loads of different areas. It could be related to medicine, like I mentioned earlier. There are GPs 
GPs who deliver courses and tutor GP trainees privately and they do that as a business. And again, like with medical writing, you can get published. There are many GPs who have books, who've authored books, who have co-authored books. So that might be something that you could look into. And again, this is really good because it is a type of passive income. I have a short guide to understanding a career in medicine. It's an ebook, and I also have a poetry book. And if you are interested in reading my books, then you can check out the link on my YouTube channel banner. So those are just some of the ways in which you can have multiple streams of income as a GP. If you want me to do another video about income, maybe even about passive income, then let me know in the comment section below. I hope you found that video useful. If you did, as always, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, then why not consider subscribing because I have loads of useful videos to support you on your medical career journey. I will see you in my next video.